What's, What's up, up everybody? everybody? Welcome back to D and they taking on the world. This is episode number 12 versus <laughs> 12. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to start this one off with telekinesis on the basic level versus telepathy on a basic level. Yeah. What you think? I think both are good ones. Yeah. Um, if I could get a little bit of both, just have best of both worlds. I mean, that's what I'm going with. <laughs> but I'm going to go with telekinesis. Uh, yes. Big dog. Because, I mean, it's really hard to choose either one because for those who really, really know me, I could use these to my advantage. <laughs> like, okay, for instance, well, I guess not to my advantage. I guess it'd be to a disadvantage in some way because uh, okay. telepathy, I get annoyed very easily. Uh -huh. So, you know, if I'm hearing stuff that people are thinking that dang. I don't really vibe with, I'm like, dang. I might have to get into my telekinesis and just punch you from like ten feet away. That's crazy. But you know, that it's crazy. you know it's tough. It's a tough one. Um, but overall, I'm gonna go with telekinesis this because is... <laughs> instead of you know physically doing things, it's like you could really just think it and it just happens. So if someone's really bothering me. You ain't going to move for like the next two minutes because I'm going to make sure you're not moving a muscle. Hmm. Or, you know, that what's that uh, thing when they're like, stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Oh, Why hitting my. Yourself? That is childish. <laughs> that is childish. No, but I would use it to my benefit, too. Like if, like if I'm by myself or whatever and like something super heavy for me to move, especially because I have a bad back. Um, just I broke my back. <laughs> Was it a vertebrae? Or well, spine and all. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely use it to my advantage because, yeah, I have a bad back. So, like, if something is too, too heavy and I don't have my husband to help me lift it, I could just, you know, use my mind and, mm. and just, you know, move it. So, I would definitely do telekinesis overall. Telepathy would be cool. Mm. Um, I feel like, too, for, like, certain people, you may be able to connect with them a little bit better because some people just aren't as, like... When it comes to certain things in their life, they wouldn't really rather talk about it. So it's like, hey, you know, mm -hmm. think it and I can I can go there with you if you don't want to physically speak it out loud, mm -hmm. you know. So I would definitely use that. I mean, that would be beneficial, too. I just think overall. You're trying gonna, to do damage out here. I'm trying to do damage. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I would it would be a battle. And what it? Oh, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go I would ahead. say it would be a battle because I would want to use it for when people would irritate me. <laughs> now, thankfully, at my new job, I don't really deal with people but workers, so it's like you know, it's better. Shots. It's a it's a lot better. You throwing shots? No, oh, no boy, shots. You, you shots out <laughs> I just don't got to deal with customers. Oh, you know, gosh. I don't got to deal with customers no more. So, I guess it wouldn't be too hard of a battle, but. And what are some of the basics that you see for telekinesis that you got there? Like moving stuff with your mind, like objects, um, like people, like moving people, not moving people, punching people from not falling. moving people, <laughs> <laughs> or as some would say, having the force. Mm -hmm. So. But I'll do like uh, Goku <laughs> and be like, instead of, you know, nah. the force type movement, I'll be like, Goku. Nah. Be like, Go. You're not going to disrespect my hands <laughs> like this. No, <laughs> nah, but I'm going to go with uh, telekinesis. You know, it definitely, I would say this answer matches both of us very well. <laughs> because my wife be about trying to put the hands on people out here. She be like, look, you frustrate me, I'm about to smash you. <laughs> she talk like the tribal chief Roman Reigns out here. Like she like, I'm gonna smash you. <laughs> 
But uh, for me, it's for me because I'm a I'm a thinking guy. So yeah. I'm choosing telepathy. I'm choosing telepathy. I figured you was going to oh, choose that. Oh, Nelly. If I had <laughs> telepathy, oh. Mm. Game would be over. <laughs> that would be crazy. Like. MC Hammer can't touch this. Oh, man. Like. To be able to, I guess, to interpret like people's emotions, like I would know where I need to be and where I don't need to be immediately. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say for example, example, example. Whoa. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> I turned into Medea right there. Example. What the heck? Okay. Um oh for gosh. example, all right. Um, let's say we out here and there is people who definitely got bad intentions. Mm -hmm. Now you could, you, like, I guess if you've been around so, so long, certain situations, you can already tell, like I could already look at somebody and I could just feel your intention, um, with certain things, but. This is not the guessing game. This is for sure. Like I can feel your intentions. Like, yeah. Oh, you're 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 a bad seed versus with me. So I don't need to be around you. So I would know these things off the rip. Like it's like okay, this person does not have the best intentions for me. I don't need to be around that individual. Where I could also look around this person and be like, oh, this person is a good-hearted individual. So, like, for me, I I could use that, you know, for my, my advantage as well. Being like, okay, I know that this person is a good person. This is a genuine person, somebody that I could, you know, be around and I could feel, you know, something like that. So, just being able to understand the emotions of, of the people that are around me and I would be able to, um, I guess put myself around better people, you know, being around people that I feel are genuine, mm -hmm. being able to communicate, like Destiny said, uh, with people without having to say a word, just thinking it, that's huge too, because, um, you know, sometimes you're in a situation, let's say you're in a moment where somebody may be in danger, you know, maybe it's, um, you know, it's a child who's maybe being abducted or something like that. And, you know, you you could just see that something's wrong and you could be able to have that ability to communicate with them that they're okay or that they're not okay, that that's a bad situation. That's a great situation or a woman that's being adopted or even a man. I mean, you never know. These situations happen. Um, to be able to help people in that moment will be huge because I will be able to know what's going on ahead of time. Yeah. I feel like for me, that's huge, especially because I am a thinking individual when it comes to certain things like this. Like I like, I like to um, diagnose situations that I'm around and I'm in so that I can kind of, you know, feel the, the vibe um, that I need to be in. Also, let's say for example, somebody that I love, um, has dementia or Alzheimer's like to the ability that 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 disease is so debilitating it's so sad it really is it's so sad like oh it's so sad and the person not to be able to to really tell you what they're feeling what they're you know the memories that they had with us um, to be able to share those memories, you know, with those who may be losing their memory, you can't really, you know, they may not be able to really fully be able to put it all together, but you can help them put it together. Things like that. Um, that would be really cool. That yeah. would be really, really, really cool. Um, and, you know, when you look at the X-Men, for example, <laughs> you got people like who have the ability to do all these different things, but who do they always come to? They go to Charles X. Why? Because Charles X is the one who really is taking these situations and and helping a lot of these situations with that. So um, to, be, to be able to read a mind, um, 
I will obviously want the power to be used in a way that's more like righteous than unrighteous, you know? And I think with all these powers, you're going to have the ability. It's going to be a, a battle, right? Let's say you have super strength. It's going to be a battle on when to use it and when not to use it. Super speed, the, when to use it and when not to use it. You know, you can use it for good to help somebody who may be falling from a burning building, but you could also use it for bad. You could steal and nobody can see you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So same thing with telepathy. I don't have to pick up nothing. I, I mean, uh, uh, telekinesis, I don't have to pick up nothing. I could do damage far away. You would never know it was me if I wanted to do something evil. Yeah. Just like in telepathy, I could use it for evil intentions. Um you know, to, to be able to control somebody, but I could also use it for good. So just like everything in this world, there's good and bad to everything. But for me, I feel like the good in telepathy outweighs the good in telekinesis for me. Um, I feel like I could do so much more good with telekinesis. I mean, with tele, te, telepathy <laughs> than telekinesis. So I am a thinking type of guy. My wife is a smashing type of gal. And uh, I want to see what type of people y'all are, okay? Yes. So let us know in the comments, are you Team D, telekinesis, or Team A, telepathy, all right? Lately, we've been disagreeing on these things, okay? We was like this we at were. the beginning. Now I'm feeling, what happened? feeling the divide, what okay? Happened? I'm feeling a straight-up divide here. <laughs> You know, maybe I need to protect myself from Mrs. Telekinesis over here who's trying to punch people from far away. All of a sudden, my wife get mad. Bow! Oh, snap, what the heck? I just got smacked in the face from far away. No, I, was I like, would win every time. <laughs> For real, you would not have to. Like, in boxing, MMA? Oh, man. Tough. Tough. You ain't yeah. going to worry about it. But also, in telepathy, I could read your mind so I can know what move you're going to do next. And stop all that so yeah. you know i want to hear what y'all think let <laughs> us know in the comments team d team a which team are you on telekinesis versus telepathy and uh, thank you guys for watching another versus with us like the video if you like it let us know in the comments whether you like these type of videos or not um and if you're subscribed thank you so much if you're not and you're watching and you like it subscribe You'll be able to see more of these videos. We're going to keep them coming. Uh, we're trying to up our production now a little bit more and more. So we got stuff coming on the way, guys. Exciting stuff. Yes. And some of these verses will be real interactive. So let us know. Let us know how y'all enjoying it. But until next time. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Coming. And, and peace.